you're not married and you do not have a boyfriend or such, how do you cater for your sex drive? <laughs> the question flies straight out of the blue African sky and flaps around me like a rare bird. I blink and knock back some more cold and indifferent white wine. I think to myself, what have I got to lose? I imagine that you'd think of my lesbianism as deviant, disturbed even, perhaps the sly work of Satan. But by this hour and the long day, I have a devil-may-care attitude <laughs> and couldn't care less if he gets up from the table or if he gets down on his knees and asks me to repent. What the hell, I think to myself, slightly inebriated, bring it on! <laughs> Still, I hesitate a little longer, vacillating between bravery and cowardice. You can tell me I'm your father, he urges winningly. It's the first time he said this simple sentence. He sees it working and repeats it with extra condiments. I'm your father. You can tell me anything. I love you and I accept you because I'm your father. There can be nothing that would shock me. <laughs> it's the first time, too, that he's appeared really interested in anything about me. Just my luck, not in my son, not in my childhood, not in my university days, not in my books, not in my parents, but in my sex drive. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> well, you know the woman you spoke to on the telephone? Yes, yes, yes. Well, she's my partner. What do you mean? She's my partner. How so? She's my, she's my lover. We've been together for 15 years. I don't bother telling him that just before I flew to Nigeria, Carol Ann told me she didn't love me anymore and wanted our relationship to end. Too complicated. You mean you are lesbian? Yes, that's right. I'm a lesbian. Despite myself, I'm agog to see how he'll take this news. Okay, 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 okay. He says a string of okays like prayer beads, then very quickly he says, okay, 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 okay. Which one of you is the man? Sorry, I say, I have often wondered about this, he says, and I've never understood. How does it work? Which one of you is the man? His eyes have acquired a sleazy shimmer. He's clearly having more fun than he's had all day. I mean, how is it possible for two women to have sex? He asks me, asking me perhaps the most unfatherly question I've ever heard. <laughs> Neither of us is the man. It doesn't work like that, I say, embarrassed. I down a whole half glass of wine. <laughs> it's not like that. So how do you have sex? You can tell me now. <laughs> he leans forward. I don't believe this. Now the preacher man wants a sermon on lesbian sex. <laughs> it's too much. You never expect to talk to your father about sex. Any father, adoptive or birth, about any sex, heterosexual or lesbian. But he won't let the matter drop. He keeps on and on and on. He reaches into the depths of his imagination for one final image. So, what do you do? You squeeze each other titty, and so on, and so forth. <laughs> and so on and so forth, the <laughs> mind boggles, sorry. And the rest, I say, under my breath, sweating now. I look at the turquoise blue of the pool with some longing. I would love to run along the diving board and take a beautiful, breathtaking dive into the pool. Not a belly flop, not a lesbian belly flop. Why is that funny? I don't know. <laughs> a beautiful fish arc of a dive. Jonathan seems to sense that he's not going to get more salacious details out of me. Strangely enough, though, he's not been at all judgmental in the way I feared. So that's something. Quite the opposite. He says to me, when you get home, get out the Bible and say a prayer for each other in front of God, and God will recognize your relationship. I don't mind the woman. God doesn't mind the woman. It's a man he minds. Jonathan says, screwing his forehead in disgust, it's a man who want to wear frock that I mind. I thought at first he was referring to transvestites. Then I realized that he meant gay bishops. 
There's been a split in the church over the thorny issue of gay clergy led by the fundamentalist Christians in Nigeria. The Bible says it's wrong, so how can they take up the frock? Jonathan says, his face crinkling with revulsion, but the Bible says nothing about women. His face smooths out, smooths out again. Anyway, it is better for you that you don't go with men. God intends you for higher purposes. Stay away from men. <laughs> Stay away from men. They will only give you AIDS. <laughs> and God has a unique plan for you. Heavens, I think. Now God is even involved in my sexuality. What a turn up for the book. 